This is 50 more web design mistakes. I made a previous one, 50 web design mistakes. If you want to check it out, link in the description. I stand by probably all but two of them from that video. And this one has 50 more, which are hopefully a little more timeless. Without further ado, here's 50 more web design mistakes. Don't center align titles with left aligned paragraph text. Use content containers or wrappers. Some people have wide ass monitors and the website becomes unusable if wrappers aren't used. Don't add line breaks to headings just to make them look prettier. This usually breaks the natural flow of text on mobile. If you have a scroll to top button, make sure it's not hovering over content in the footer. Crazy letter spacing. I can understand using letter spacing for design purposes, but with every pixel you add between each character, it makes the text harder to read. Small text areas. Users often need a lot of space to type their message. A lot of users won't know about that little adjustment you can do in the bottom right. The more space you have, the more info people will provide. It's a win-win. Having headings that are the size of sentences. This goes against Google's official SEO guidelines. If your heading could be a paragraph because of how long it is, you should make it a paragraph. Using stock photos. I have an entire video on this, link in the description. Not having all external links open in a new tab. This is a web design convention and it works best in your favor when you do it because people don't navigate off your website. Not setting the HTML theme app color. Small thing, but it's 2024, man. Get with the times. For sub pages such as team member pages, portfolio items, or projects, not having a way to get back to the parent page. This is very important if you want users to browse through multiple ones. Having the sidebar show before the blog post on mobile. This can usually happen naturally if you're using a sidebar on the left. Using large images on mobile because you're too lazy to create separate, smaller sized versions. Not changing the color of your logo when you have a different style for a sticky navigation. Users don't care if a white-based logo is included in your brand guidelines or not. Make the logo readable. Not having a caption on videos or images that warrant needing captions. If it's a complex topic, like explaining part of a boiler system for example, adding a caption can make the content much more understandable and better. Not having hover effects on buttons. Even on mobile, these hover effects kind of act as focus effects. It helps the user to understand what's been clicked. Some people have very fat fingers. Having heading sizes that don't incrementally have less weight. There's a reason why HTML gives you six of these damn things. Not linking the phone number or emails. These are features where, say in Chrome, you can select the link and it can intelligently recognize it's a phone number or an email. But you can't expect this functionality to be there for everyone or that people even know about it. Thinking you don't need a dedicated page for important pages like contact or pricing just because you list that information somewhere else. People scan for these kinds of important pages in the navigation or even search it on Google. So having a page just because the content is repetitive is important. Anything to do with accessibility and background colors. This is very basic and I hope none of my subscribers do this. This one people might disagree with having more than two to three bold colors on a website. I recommend one bold color and use black, gray, and white. This makes for a website that's much easier on the eyes when you don't have all these different colors trying to get your attention. Having more than three button styles. You shouldn't need more than three. Not designing for your demographic. For example, a website for a senior home whose target audience may likely be seniors. Something as basic as an accordion might be too confusing to them. So you might need to dumb it down in that case. If you have a review, testimonial, or quote, it should be in italics. Not having links to your parent pages because your navigation item is just using a hashtag as a link, so you can just have a dropdown. You should create a landing page that links to these subpages. This will also allow a URL hierarchy. Being lazy with proper capitalization because you've made all the text uppercase using text transform. Google reads the content as is without the CSS and spelling and grammar is an SEO ranking factor. So the original text should be in proper capitalized format. Don't make stuff scroll horizontally unnecessarily. By doing this, you hide content on the screen that the user would have to put in work to consume. If you just had it on the screen and look good, 
it's a win-win for everyone. On your 404 page, there should be some sort of call to action that the user can take to find what they're looking for. Either give them a search field to search what they want, or provide them a list of common high-level links they can use, or both. Having more than two body paragraph styles. If you do more than this, your paragraph styles will get confused with the headings. When you have link blocks such as these, the entire block should be clickable, not just the button inside. Paragraph blocks that don't have headings. Headings allow users to scan content easier to know if it's worth reading for them. If you need text shadow to make the text readable, that's a band-aid solution to the real problem, which is that you should be using an overlay instead. Not using proper line breaks on paragraphs. If you're going to use a slider or a carousel, you should use them in a grid of three instead of just one, so the user has three times the amount of content in front of them without the user having to do any action. This might be a hot take here, but one-page websites. If you only have enough content for a single longer page, then you need to ask yourself how effective or helpful your website really is. Content is what makes a website valuable and why users visit them. The less content, the less valuable the website is. Don't add full background colors on titles. It makes them look like buttons. There are designs that can pull this off, but it's better to avoid it. Buttons that say learn more. Alone, learn more tells the user nothing. It's also an accessibility issue. Top notification banners that cover the navigation. Whatever the hell this is. There's something to making text big and bold for design effect, but this literally hurts my eyes to read. I'm a firm believer that every website should have sticky menus. They help getting around the website so much easier, making there be a higher chance that the user will click around more. And the mistake here is not having one. No text on your website should ever be smaller than 12 pixels for accessibility, but 12 is the minimum. People in their mid 40s will begin to have sight problems and reading text that is 12 pixels big is simply too hard in eye straining. I recommend the body text on your website be at least 17 or 18 pixels. I like 18. Off canvas menus. These are most used to have helpful contact information, but Problem one, your design has failed if the content has to be in here instead of somewhere else more prominent. And number two, users associate hamburger menus with navigation menus, not contact information. I personally never know what to expect when opening these off canvas menus. And users don't either, especially if it's right next to the navigation that's already on the screen. Using decorative borders around the viewport. This is of course a crazy example, it's samsons.kr if you want to check it out, but decorative borders are for books or posters, not websites. Breadcrumbs need to be at the top of the page, inside the above the fold. If your website is less than 10 pages, you don't need search functionality, unless it's for something like a blog, of course. Grouped items should be closer to each other than its siblings. Look at the difference here and how much clearer it is to scan and intuit what content goes with what. Two call to actions side by side, in particular that aren't just buttons. With this kind of layout, the eyes don't know where to look and the content doesn't have an intuitive or natural flow to it. All e-commerce websites should have products on the homepage somewhere. This is a huge conversion boost as well as user experience by letting your users know that you sell products on the site. Whenever mentioning pricing on your website, it's a good idea to include the currency. Not everyone lives in the US. Never, never center align drop down menus. It makes them harder to read. So there it is. There's 50 web design mistakes. If you avoid making all of these mistakes, you will have a more effective, easier to use, and more intuitive website.